Mr. Rich. I got some bad news. There seems to be a problem. Problem? What sort of problem? The show is starting and we we haven't seen Klaus. Oh, well, we don't have a problem. You have a problem. Yes, he was supposed to stop by the... Okay, Jeff, uh, since you're so bright, where is Klaus? I've heard he's out on the slopes. He can't find Klaus. Chasing zero Gs. Jeff, I don't think you, I'm hearing you correctly. It sounds like you just said, Klaus isn't there! He's not there. He's out chasing zero Gs. What the heck are zero Gs? Go find him! Now let me tell you the legend is in the house He goes by the name of Klaus So all new school skiers gather around Select our wicks, come on with the rhythm What, what make, gives you a natural high in skiing Is all those zero keys Zero keys Zero keys Zero keys in every the turn, fans. you're waiting. Yes, you know, fans. You look, or you jump, yes, and you're waiting. Yes, fans. We, yes, we just jump. We couldn't yes, turn yet to yes, ski, fans. but we jumped because yes, we had this, we yes, got this zero G. Yes, it was such a great yes, feeling. Got this zero G. Yes, got this zero G. Yes, got this zero G. Yes, it's like the closest yes, thing to somebody yes, giving you fair yes, wings. Yes, they hear you go and fly. They hear you go and fly. They hear you go.
Klaus, could you tell us about the first time you saw a pair of skis? The, the postman there was in Bavaria at our house, you know, he came and he delivered the mail and he was on skis. And that was the first time I've, I'd seen skis and uh, I couldn't believe it. He took them off and went in the house brought me, and I snuck on those skis. That, that was just uh, like a miracle. And then my dad took me up to town and there were three skiers up on a hill and I couldn't believe it. I mean, he, he had a hard time getting me away from that. I just couldn't believe that that is possible, that you can slide like this on the snow. I mean, we had sleds, you know, that was a different thing, but that you could stand on it, you're in a binding and you can just go down, just go down in the snow. What a wonderful, wonderful, fun thing to do, you know? So anyhow, so then I made my first skis out of little chestnut boards, you know? And they, my dad used to buy oranges from Italy and, and they were shipped in, in, in cases or crates made out of very thin chestnut boards. So I nailed my house shoes, my buckle house shoes on them. And then I took a string and pulled up the, the front part of the board, put it around the knee, and so I, I had tips, you see, so you could ski like this. But the problem was, as soon as I didn't lean back, I lost my tips when I went forward and made a Purzelbaum, they call it, you know, a somersault. <laughs> then I, the first real skis I got were made by Marius Eriksson, Stein, Stein's father. And they were wonderful. They had permanent tips on them. What a luxury. <laughs> and, and I made a little jumping hill and we started jumping. And there, there was a friend of mine, he, a little kid, they had also a pair. And we jumped and we made bigger jumping hill and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then eventually I thought, my gosh, we should learn how to turn on these things, you know, to turn the skis. And that took us a while to learn how to turn on them. <laughs> well, let's do some skiing, huh? Oh yeah, good idea. Let's ski. Trihalo, lalo, trihalo. Oh, tie, tie, trihalo, tri. Yoo!